Okay, I want to talk about shot process. I, I, I get asked a lot about the mental management and the mental aspect of shooting and I don't want to take away from anybody that has a mental program or anything like that because you, you really have to do what you have to do in order to shoot well. Okay, I do have, I guess, a mental plan. I do have a mental program. Um, I, I did do a lot of mental training back in the day as far as, you know, I read books about, you know, the inner game of tennis and, you know, the little green book and the little red book on golf, what to say when you talk to yourself, things like that. But I think the biggest thing is not so much the mental game as it is, you know, kind of like we marry trigger control and aiming together. You, you kind of have to marry that mental game to the actual mechanics and the physical part of shooting, okay? That's your shot process. So basically, a shot process is everything it takes to deliver one well-aimed shot. And that, and that is all-encompassing, okay? When I was in the Marine Corps, Captain Belkey had us write down your shot process. And I wrote down some stuff, and I may have had like 10 or 12 things on this piece of paper. And he goes, no, do it again. Everything you do to shoot one well-aimed shot. And we'd pair up with people and go, hey, keep notes. What do I do? You know, everything that I do, write it down. Watch me. And eventually it got to where my shot process filled the front of a legal pad. You know, the big, long, yellow notebooks. That was my shot process. Every step to shoot one well-aimed shot. Well, I think that was a fairly new concept back in the late 80s, early 90s, because I would ask some of the great shooters then, you know, when I was a young new shooter up and coming and seeing these other guys, and I'd ask them, hey, what's your shot process like? And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, you know, to shoot, what do you do? And they go, pick gun up, shoot gun, put gun down. And oh, that just made everybody angry. Or like, come on, there's more to it. And they go, no, pick gun up, shoot gun, put gun down. Well, now, after having set some records and won a bunch of national championships, my shot process is pick gun up, shoot gun, put gun down. It's horrible, but my process has developed into that, okay? In the beginning, it was this big, long thing. And it literally went from the, everything I did, from, the, from stepping up to the bench, checking my body alignment, my position, getting the grip on my gun, make sure my trigger finger placement is correct. All right, where do I put the gun? I rest the gun here on this block, so I'm never resting the gun on the table like this. It rests on the trigger guard on this block of wood. So I've got to maintain positive control of the gun at all times. I never break my grip. From there, secure the non-shooting hand. I start thinking about what I'm doing. What am I shooting? I'm shooting slow fire. All right, this is slow fire. Keep the trigger moving. Everything, all of this so far, goes all the way into that process. For that very first shot of sustained fire or every shot of slow fire. Whew. Relax. I'm talking to myself, what I'm shooting. Am I shooting time fire? All right, you're shooting time fire. You got plenty of time. Keep the trigger moving. <sighs> Exhale. Now, the process that I use has got to be consistent. It's going to keep you in that rhythm, in that process every single time. If something happens that's different outside of your process, stop. You've got to start over. Okay? So for me, from here, got my grip, everything's good. I inhale the gun up. Exhale, pick up my sight, start building pressure on the trigger, squeeze, 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 keep the trigger moving. That's what I'm saying in my head. Keep the trigger moving. Bang! Shot breaks. Process over gun comes back down to the bench. I don't know what your process is, but you've got to develop that process, okay? It's the only thing that's going to tell you I'm doing everything right, I'm doing everything wrong, okay? It, you've got to watch for the indicators in that process. An indicator in your process is anything that is a stray thought, a stray action. Um, if you're thinking, if you're in the middle of your process and you're bringing a gun up in slow fire and all of a sudden you say, hey, I got to remember to stop the store and get milk on the way home tonight. What part of getting milk has, helps you shoot a well-aimed shot? None of it. That's an indicator your mind's not where it needs to be. Okay? 
write out your process, videotape yourself shooting, and make sure that your process is what you're doing. Okay? Then you gotta take that process from slow fire and figure out where to start it in the commands and sustained fire. So basically, if I bring the gun up here, bang, where at in the commands, ready on the right, ready on the left, already on the fire line, do I need to start that process so it's the same process? One process, three stages of fire. It's gonna take time, you gotta massage it and tweak it to get it right, but it's your process. Okay, and once you master your process, your scores are going to go up. This is a segment that I could talk to for hours about developing that process. I'm not going to do that here. Come to one of my clinics and we'll talk a little bit more about process.